and uh, uh, with the people you have here, I'm a petroleum geologist. John's a petroleum engineer. Uh, uh, John's an environmental uh, uh, representative, and, and uh, Mike Joy, when he joins us, uh, has his degree in geology, and, and he's an attorney uh, by trade and very knowledgeable in land and leasing issues. So we hope to be able to answer all your questions, and we'll do our very best. And uh, with that, we'll, uh, we'll just get on. I'm going to kind of run through this fairly quickly because we really do want to get to the question and answer period. Uh, we, we find that, that that actually produces some of the, the, the most interesting uh, uh, exchange of uh, dialogue and information. So we're going to run through a few things, uh, including a uh, little bit about the association, uh, talk briefly on the Marcella Shale, where it's located. Uh, we'll discuss some drilling and completion uh, 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 issues, uh, water use and disposal. Uh, we'll talk about New York's uh, oil and gas regulatory program uh, governed by the DEC. And also, uh, we're just going to touch at the very end, just for a few minutes, on some of the economic uh, considerations of, of drilling, what it means to uh, the state and the municipalities and, and landowners. But uh, IOGA of New York, I say IOGA, IOGA, it's the Independent Oil and Gas Association of New York. We are a trade association of about 350 members. Uh, we represent um, all aspects of the industry. We have very large companies, the Fortunas and Chesapeake's, the, some of the names I'm sure you've heard of, uh, right down to the small one and two man shops. Uh, we represent drillers and service companies and, and uh, transportation and, and pipeline companies and such uh, and uh, consultants and, and everybody. So, and we, we interact uh, with the New York State DEC on the regulations that govern our industry. Can you all hear me okay uh, in, in the back? Okay, I'm, but for now, until we figure out how to turn it up, I'll just get closer. Um, and so, uh, uh, okay, John, I'll keep talking so you can tell when you're finding the right knob there. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, is that is that a little bit better? Is it too loud? Or? Okay. Uh, one thing that I want to uh, mention right up front is that the industry is not new to New York State. And, and I know many of you know this, but I do want to mention that the first well was drilled in 1821 back in western New York in Chautauqua County. Um, since then, of course, uh, there have been numerous wells drilled, about 75,000 wells drilled in New York State. Uh, right now, there's about 14,000 wells that are currently producing across the state from a multitude of different horizons. Um, and uh, many of the, the, the wells are drilled to, like I say, different formations. Uh, uh, there, there, there are some wells that are drilled to the Marcellus in New York State, about 30 or 40 wells right now, uh, but they've been drilled uh, uh, you know, in years past. Um, this, this slide here shows you uh, the, uh, the extent of the Marcellus Shale, uh, as, as we know it right now. And you can see it covers portions of Ohio, West Virginia, a uh, big, big part of Pennsylvania, and then on up into the south central part of New York State here. Um, covers about 54,000 square miles. And that's just where it is present, just physically present, that, that particular geologic uh, uh, formation. Uh, this map is about maybe six months old or so right now, but still uh, it gives you an idea of where the the drilled and permitted wells are in, in the Appalachian Basin. So um, the permitted wells are shown in green dots. You can see there, there's many of them scattered throughout this whole area. And the drilled wells for the Marcellus are in, in red dots. So there's about uh, 2,400 that have been permitted and about 1,500 drilled in this uh, four, four or more state area. Uh, you can see there's about 30 or 40 up here in New York, like I said. But these are predominantly vertical wells that have been drilled for, for many years in New York. Uh, this slide just gives you an idea, uh, a good comparison of the size of the Marcellus Shale in the Appalachian Basin here uh, with the, uh, for example, the Fayetteville uh, Shale or the Barnett Shale down here in Texas. Uh, so you can see we're, we're sitting on a huge, huge natural gas field uh, in the Northeast here. Uh, one thing I just want to mention real, real briefly is the geology, and it does, we, we certainly don't have time tonight to go into the actual geology of the Marcellus, but I just want to point out that there are a lot of geologic factors that will determine whether or not drilling in the Marcellus is profitable or, or, or will make sense in a, in a certain locality. And these include the, 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 uh, the lithology, uh, the makeup of the shale, uh, the thickness, that's very important, thickness, and also the depth and the pressures. Right now it's believed that, the, that it has to be, be found at about 3,000 feet deep or deeper, three to 4,000 feet minimum. So that's why as you uh, if you hear about interest in the Marcella Shale, there's less interest right now out in western New York because it's, it's thinning and it's getting very, very shallow out there. But back in this part of the state, the Marcella Shale is thicker and, and uh, uh, buried a little bit deeper. 
So it's more favorable for, for drilling. And then uh, fracturing and structural implications, uh, total organic content of the shale has to be there. So the bottom line is the, the jury's kind of out because we haven't been allowed to drill for the Marcellus horizontally in New York State yet. And we'll, we'll talk about that later in the, in the program. Um, but the, uh, the jury's kind of out in New York State. We assume it'll be as prolific uh, as it is elsewhere in Pennsylvania because they are drilling just several miles south of us in Pennsylvania as we speak. Um, and just another side note, the reservoir potential impacts the lease values. Uh, uh, meaning, again, if you had land in Chautauqua County where the Marcellus is only 20 feet thick as opposed to 160 feet thick out here and, and it's too shallow out there, it's, uh, it's not going to command the same uh, uh, lease values uh, as it would uh, in areas like this. This is just a, uh, a cross-section to show you, give you an idea of scale. And I know it's hard for you to see, but there's a very, very thin blue line that comes across the top here that, that would be considered the aquifer, that, say the groundwater. And, and a drilling rig is set up, and, and you can see there's been, been a, I know this is, the, the, the next slide is the animated video, so that'll explain all this, but, um, but casing is set through this. The well is drilled uh, down to a great depth, thousands and thousands of feet, then turned horizontally, and then, then drilled uh, in, a, in a horizontal direction. And I know you can't see it from that back there, but I'll just point out that these, these, are, these green uh, images here are the Statue of Liberty, and there's three of them stacked on end vertically, and that comprises about 500 feet right there. So what we call the kickoff point, the point where the well goes from vertical to beginning to make its bend, uh, it takes about 500 feet to, to make that bend. And, uh, and again, this gives you an idea of scale even for the amount of um, rock from the surface down to a typical kickoff point. Um, oh, I thought the video was next. I guess it's probably the next one. Um, just a couple uh, uh, bits of information here. The first horizontal well was actually drilled in 1929, but the first horizontal shale well was drilled in 1988 out in Michigan. And uh, in New York State, there was a horizontal well drilled in 1989, and uh, there have been hundreds of, of wells drilled since then uh, in the Appalachian Basin. But uh, there's been over 7,000 of them drilled in the Barnett Shale uh, alone. Here's the video. We're going to see if we can get enough audio for y'all to hear it.